Picture this. You're chilling in London, sipping on some tea, and suddenly you get an urge for croissants in Paris. Impossible, right? Wrong. In just about two hours, without ever taking to the skies, you can go from tea to tart tatin. All thanks to a marvel under the sea, the Channel Tunnel. Alright, while you're shaking off the mermaid and sea monster images, let's get deep. Real deep. About 75 meters, that's 246 feet, deep under the English Channel, to be exact. This is no tale of Atlantis, it's the story of the channel, or if you're feeling fancy, Le Tunnel sous la Manche. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why not just swim across? Well, aside from the fact that it's, you know, cold, and filled with ships. The distance is around 50.5 kilometers, or about 31.4 miles. That's a lot of swimming, even for a fish. The story of the Channel Tunnel isn't just an underwater epic, it's a tale of unity, connecting two countries and countless stories. And fun fact, the idea isn't a modern brainwave. It's been floating around since the early 19th century. Napoleon himself fancied a tunnel idea, probably dreaming of quick croissant pickups too. But here's where things get interesting. This wasn't just a dig and done deal. The tunnel consists of three parts, two running tunnels and one service tunnel. It's like the triplets of the tunnel world. Alright, gear up for some geology talk. Digging under the sea, you'd expect to hit water at some point, right? Surprisingly, no big splashes here. They were drilling through chalk marl, a kind of rock that's watertight. Lucky, or they'd have had a wet surprise. Here's a zinger. At their closest points, France and Britain are only 20.7 miles apart. But if the builders had shot straight across, they would have hit a deep underwater valley. So, the channel doesn't go the shortest route, but the smartest one. Brains over brawn, always. Safety first. Trapped underwater in a tunnel may sound like a claustrophobe's worst nightmare, but fear not. Every 375 meters, there are connecting doors between the tunnels, and there are escape routes to the surface at intervals. So, no, it's not an underwater trap of doom. But it wasn't all smooth sailing, or should I say, smooth drilling. They faced massive machine breakdowns and even hit a large boulder, aptly named the Great Stone. Talk about a rock in a hard place, huh? Now, think about this. The team started drilling from both ends, one from France and one from the UK. They had to meet in the middle. And when they did, they were only off by a teeny tiny 50 centimeters. Talk about precision. And the cherry on top? The tunnel isn't just a marvel of engineering, but also a green champion. Trains running through the tunnel are responsible for emitting 10 times less CO2 compared to planes on the same route. London to Paris, without the carbon footprint? Ooh la oula! So, the next time you're munching on a croissant in Paris, thinking about your evening tea in London, take a moment to marvel at this wonder under the water. Channel Tunnel, or as we like to call it, the Undersea Uniter, reminding us that sometimes, the best way forward is beneath.